National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Seattle Seahawks and the Dallas Cowboys next on Madden Football. We are sandwiched between Fort Worth and Dallas, Texas in Arlington at the luxurious AT&T Stadium. Tonight we've got a good NFC matchup in store between the Seattle Seahawks and the Dallas Cowboys. everybody alongside my partner Charles Davis I'm Brandon Gordon and Charles when you and I were going through our final run throughs at breakfast we kept thinking tonight we're going to get to see a couple of very good passing offenses and we're talking about both sides having multiple receivers that could have an impact on this game it's not just one guy that's going to make all the plays if you take him away maybe number two number three they make the big plays that impact who wins the game Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. From the six. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. So out come the Seahawks now for their first possession. And they're led out by their mobile quarterback out of West Virginia. It's Geno Smith. I still remember back in 2013 when he was drafted out of West Virginia. He was coming off a of back-to-back 4,000-yard seasons for the Mountaineers. Hadn't seen as much game time in recent years, but at one point, a capable starter in the NFL. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Here's Walker to start the drive. And that is the kind of tackle they want to see all game as he'll lose yardage to start things out. Call it officially a loss of two on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football. But that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. The opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Sticking with Walker on second down. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. That one good for 14 and the Seahawk first. Good sign here early. Everybody on offense there up front in the backfield in sync on that play. So much talk about what do you do to neutralize home field advantage? Well, teams that run the football effectively, they often have a way of neutralizing it in a big way when they have those types of runs. Smith on first down. He's going to loft it deep right sideline. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they run successful. Smith, an incomplete pass on first down. Now it's second and ten. Geno now to throw. Throw out wide to Walker. Now he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. 
That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll try for the first with Walker. He's going to be a yard short. Needed two, but only got one. Fourth down. Well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. And this will be out of bounds, and they spotted it the, at the 15-yard line. Not too bad. Now we'll see what the right arm of Dak Prescott has in store as the Dallas Cowboys offense sets up shop. It's been a lot of fun watching him advance in his career. Many people question his ability to throw the football coming out of Mississippi State. He's conclusively answered that question. In addition, a very strong runner and an even better leader. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 15. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Ferguson. Oh, Only able to get a couple there, and it's second down. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches, as we just saw him do there, because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver. In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. Alton Robinson from his outside linebacker spot, forcing the sack for a loss of eight. It's now the ball backed up inside their own 10. Now they're backed up even further, and they can thank their coverage for that. They called the zone, and they were aggressive enough to deny an early window, and that gave their rushers a chance to get to the pocket. They'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack? It's third and long. Here's Prescott. Over the middle complete. It's Ferguson. And he'll only get this to the 17, well shy of what he needed. It's a gain of nine, but it's also going to mean a punt here on their opening drive. I think that call was made not so much to try and get the first down, although <laughs> they would have taken it if they could have gotten it, but to give their punter a little bit of space and try and help out their defense. Yeah, they got the safe completion on third. On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. Dances by him. It's a 45-yard punt and eight on the return. And it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. Seattle's offense coming back onto the field, ready for their second drive. A last series for them, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. Good starting field position here for the Seahawks as they come up first and 10 at their own 43. Now Gino. Open man, that's Noah Fant, the tight end. And they're going to get this up to midfield. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Working with a second and three. From the 50, it's Smith. 
going right back to Fan. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. The start for them near flawless. Defense gets them a three and out. Two quick pass connections on offense. So that's how a team works together. Just what you described. Get them the ball, give them a little momentum, and they're capitalizing off of that. Thanks a lot, guys. Now a first down throw. It's Smith. That's caught over the middle by Fant. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. He may be a bit undersized compared to the modern-day NFL defensive tackle, but when he lacks in size, he definitely makes up for it in his ability to make tackles in the run game as well. Play action. It's Smith. This one goes underneath to Walker, and he is going to have a Seahawks first down. It's a gain of six that time on third and two. I like the fact that they didn't overcomplicate things on that call. Third and two, just run the quick little hitch, which they did. Ball's out of quarterback's hands, and yes, indeed, they pick up the first down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Walker now on first and 10. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Sticking with Walker on second down. And he'll be brought down at about the 25 after a pickup of four. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Smith on third down. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. From the red zone now, Smith. End zone caught. Touchdown, Seattle. From 17 yards out. And the Seahawks put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. Jason Myers now for the extra point. And this will give the Seahawks a 7 to nothing lead. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it all culminates with a Seattle score. After the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. 
This is taken just shy of the 10. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string. Oh, Prescott stripped. But I believe a Cowboy was there to get it. He was, and Dallas will maintain possession. Points one, two, and three in their defensive game plan was to get to the quarterback and knock the ball free. They did it there. Luckily, offense hangs on to it. Yeah, that's got to serve as a wake-up call, though, because they can't afford to let the ball go over to the defense and miss opportunities. And I'm not saying it happened here, but you know what a good rule of thumb is when a play like that occurs? You know who usually recovers it? The guy who missed his block and let his quarterback get hit. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. Now Prescott. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. It'll be a nickel look here for the Seahawks on third down. Prescott. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And already down seven to nothing after the touchdown a minute ago. So a three and out here would not be ideal for them. Nice job finding his receiver there. And they get the first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Here's Prescott. There again is Cooks complete. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that'll bring up second down. To the air again, Prescott. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Ferguson. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 44-yard line. A good-looking drive for the Cowboys so far. It's a first down. Prescott to throw it. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. The first carry now for Tony Pollard. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. Prescott now. Is going to be incomplete. Well, they certainly did a nice job there picking him up out of the backfield and then running stride for stride with him. That's good coverage, and it led to an incompletion. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. This officially a 55 yard attempt. 
He's got the leg, but it's no good. He missed it right, and this will stay at a seven-point game. Yeah, 55 yards is anything but a gimme. You've got to really concentrate on your leg swing and proper technique. This time, though, he's unable to convert. And Seattle now ready to march out of the field. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. Now they're set up nicely at the 45-yard line after the missed field goal from 55. They'll run with Walker to begin the drive. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Throwing now is Gino. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. A good pick up there of 20 yards. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part catching the football right whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it comes together with the legs in this case the feet did a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch and a great job by our crew on the camera shot love when you see the grass or on the field turf those rubber pellets flying up great catch ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10 they'll fake it now smith and down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. They tried to go with a little play action there, but nobody on the defensive side bit. Yeah, they adjusted in time and in a big way and ultimately got the sack on offense. Sometimes you're running play action just to set up a certain blocking technique. In this case, none of it worked. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. And now some motion before the snap. And this will be our first penalty of the night's proceedings. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. Still second down. And that false start penalty certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Throwing is Smith. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try and hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter, but that time, they were up to the challenge. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Smith. And that is incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Here's Michael Dixon now to punt. And no return here. Where will they spot him? They say just outside the 20-yard line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, get this a little time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. And a 
the first play and the drive there is incomplete. One thing you have to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air, and I'm not sure that he didn't, but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Prescott from the gun. It's caught left side by Cooks. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. That looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag because when you do, you just put the ball on him and then let him run. Yeah, he's got some space. Oh, it's a nickel set here defensively on third and inches. Still want to be prepared for a pass. Trying to run for it with Pollard. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. A loss of a yard, and it brings up four. I think we got to give it up for him right there. That's a heck of an athletic move for a big man right in the middle of the line. How about the play he makes there? Nowhere to run, and he finishes that one off for a loss. On is the punter, Brian Ager, to kick this one away. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. This is taken at the 18. And nine yards there on the return following a punt of 47. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. And out now come the Seahawks. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. Now Gino on first down. He's got his big tight end, Fant, finding space at the 40. And they work this well upfield across the 45. The end result, 21 yards. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Off of play action, here's Smith. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. No surprise at all. They're looking for the big man early in this one. The only surprise for them, he couldn't hang on to the pass. Smith, an incomplete pass on first down. Now it's second and ten. On second down, it's Walker. And he's fortunate to get anything from that. Give him a yard up to the 49. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Yeah, the Cowboys here on third down bringing in an extra defensive back. Now it's Smith. And that will be incomplete. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. Now here's Michael Dixon as he's on the punt for Seattle. And he's getting a workout here in this first quarter as he gets it away. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Dallas offense set for this next drive. And three and out on the last drive. No points on the scoreboard. A little soul searching now? I would say so. And they need to help out their defense a little bit. They've had to be on the yeah, field a lot position. more than normal. Put them in some tough spots. But what's the old adage? When you get another chance, it gives you a better chance to do it right. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. 
That's going to be complete on the sideline, but, you know, that throw left him no room to run, and the good footwork nearly all for not. The catch and run there, good for 16 to first. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and, of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. Two yards the loss, second and 12. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. On second and 12, Prescott. And the Seahawk defense gets to him, and they bring him down. How about corner Kobe Bryant coming in to make the sack? He continues, Charles, to be under constant pressure. And these sacks, they're starting to pile up. And if they want to have a realistic chance in this one, They've got to change their blocking assignments. They've got to do a better job to keep him upright. If he's going to be on the deck constantly, they've got no chance to win this game. And they'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack? It's third and long. Now Prescott. Steps away to his left. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. Here's Brian Anger now as he's on to punt for Dallas. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And they will take over first and 10. Here come the Seahawks now set to take over on offense. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? A little jet sweep to start the drive. And he is going to lose yardage here. line second and 12 now Smith escaping the pressure right oh the ball comes out on the hit but they'll say it's incomplete they certainly did a nice job improvising there extending the play hoping someone would come open downfield but they never did The offense on third down tonight, two for five to this point. This is third down and 12. Geno out a throw. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. This is certainly a team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air and defensively. They were aware of that, but certainly were prepared on that throw. Now here's Michael Dixon as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight.
Good coverage there. An even 50-yard punt leads to a return of five. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and ten. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 21. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive to the sideline. And wow, what a catch there. He doesn't get a lot, but he was able to get the feet down complete. If you run an out route, it's likely you end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? The toe tap. You got it. The benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up and making sure it was a catch. Looking to throw again on second down. Prescott, he finds his man complete. It's Ferguson. Seven yards there at a first down. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide it. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now a give here to Pollard. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. It's a gain of 16 in the Dallas first down. And they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. offense finding its legs now here's another first and ten out of the gun here's Prescott flushed out right throw right side taken in by Gallup and they'll get this down to around the 47 yard line he decided to run a hitch route it really helped to have a guy who can turn it loose and boy he rifled one in there on that one not much run after catch but it worked really well Four yards remain for second down. Here's Prescott. That's caught once again by Gallup. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 27-yard line. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time, he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. First and ten, Prescott. That's into the hands of Gallup over the middle. And he gets it all the way down inside the ten and mark him at the five. A well-executed 22-yard game. Just picking up yardage and bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They'll throw again. Prescott in trouble, and he'll go down back at the 12. Alton Robinson in there to get him yet again. That is his third sack tonight. They can't figure him out. So that now four first-half sacks. This pass rush has been unrelenting. And partner, you hear that sound of paper being ripped to shreds? That's a game plan that they've had so far because they've got to say to themselves right now, we have to do something differently. They'll try again on second and goal after going backwards to the 12. 
Another try after the first down sack. Prescott. Dancing to his left. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Dak Prescott, a 12-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Well, the defensive coverage was good, so good, he just decided to make a play of his own, and it worked out. Yeah, you often wonder if they think to themselves, was the coverage too good to allow him to run the football? But I think you'd rather take your chances with him doing exactly that, and he beat him on that play all the way to the end zone. Extra point right down the middle, and we are tied at seven. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it was all capped off by Dak Prescott, keeping it and taking it in on the touchdown run. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. This is taken just shy of the 10. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting, because three straight drives have ended with them punting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. Smith on first down. And the catch is made here by Tyler Lockett. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. So they got settled into the drive there. They came right around the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. They'll fake the handoff. Now Smith. He hits his target, Lockett. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. They go right back to him for 20 and a first. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 35-yard line. Up the middle they run. It's Walker. And this defense not ready for that one as he'll take this down inside the 25. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Back to Walker on first down. And not much. Maybe a yard down to the 23. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there holding the point of attack and not giving ground. They'll toss this out right to Walker. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. That was a good illustration of setting the edge as a defensive end, being able to make sure that you stay on your feet no matter what type of block, and you're not going to get pushed inside. Stayed home, skated to the outside, and made the play.
The offense on third down tonight. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is third down and 12. Smith. And Walker with it over the middle. And he'll be stopped here well short of the first down at the 24-yard line. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. On comes the Seahawk kicker here on fourth down. It's Jason Myers. And this one, a 41-yard attempt. And that hits the right upright and caroms away. It's no good. And this game will remain tied here in quarter number two. And no mistaking that sound. It reverberated through the whole stadium. And it's the sound, Brandon, no kicker wants to hear. It looked like he had it on target the whole way, but the upright said, uh-uh. The Cowboys about set to take over on offense. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. They looked his way quite a bit, and in my estimation, as well they should. That's now five catches in this first half alone. And he picks up another first down. He's been an important part of their offense here early. a bootleg with Prescott they'll roll him out right and this one is incomplete that was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage but what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them and I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete On second down, it's Pollard. And he'll be stopped at the 46, gain of three. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. On third down, it's Prescott. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that'll bring up fourth down. I know where we're headed on this. Terrific catch, gets his feet down, sets up a fourth down in short situation. But I bet we're wondering, why didn't he get to the first down marker running his route? Am I correct? You got to know where the marker is, right? Got to figure it out. I know every receiver has taught that. Sometimes circumstances change it. At least they have an opportunity to make a decision with not much yardage to go. There, this punt will go out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25, and it will. Right at the 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And the last time that they were on the field, a little demoralizing. Missed field goal. You know, always feel like you want to get it in the end zone, but then, oh, well, at least we're going to get three. Didn't go through the goalpost, so. It does test the mental processes of a team, though, doesn't it? Because when you miss a field goal, it's amazing how fast they want to turn on the guy kicking the ball. But you need to keep his confidence up because how many times have we seen games where it comes down to a stretch? And guess what? You need that guy to make the big kick for your team to move on or to win a game. Make sure you keep him happy. Make sure you keep him comfortable. I'm sure you always treated the kicker nicely, though, right? You know, truthfully, I did. Good. I always did because those guys, they won us a whole lot of games. No, 
Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Sticking with Walker on second down. And he stopped after a gain of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Heavy set out there on third and one. Back to throw, Smith. He's got his tight end fan. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. Instead of a third and one run, they go pass and they get 12 yards out of it. They brought in the heavy set on third down, and that usually means running play. But we have seen them throw out of that formation. And sure enough, they snuck the tight end out on that one while they're hitting it for a first down. On first and ten, Smith. It's caught. Lock it. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. It's a nice completion and a little bit of run after catch as well to create the yardage that they got. But it is so tough to cover that route, the drag route, because they run it at varying speeds. Because the key is to create hesitancy on the defender's part. Always so empathetic for those DBs, aren't you? Straight ahead, Walker. And he'll be taken down at the 43. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. Now a draw play. It's Walker. Oh, able to avoid him. And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 33. 53 yards on the ground for him now as he's done that on 15 carries. Partner, there are strong running plays, and then there are plays where you simply outclass the defense, and we saw the latter there. They ran straight up the heart of that front for an excellent gain and first down. Simply put, you got to put more of a fight defending the middle. Otherwise, this is going to be a long game. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Smith. Walker with a grab, left side. And he'll get this to the 22. So they began the play at the 11, and it's a gain of 11. First down. Well, they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field and I think in the second half that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside on first down it's Smith and oh it'll be intercepted Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And the Cowboys are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Now they were in a great position to take the lead, Charles. Obviously, all they needed was a field goal to do that. They wanted the touchdown. Unfortunately, they're going to get neither. And you know every offense talks about the same thing each week, don't they, Brandon? They want to end every drive with a kick, whether it's a field goal attempt, a point after the touchdown, or at worst, a punt. This time they had that opportunity, but didn't get it. Because you know the field shrinks that close to the end zone, and that allows the defense to tighten up their coverage, and they pick that one off. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at the 20. They're going to look to throw. He finds his man complete. That's Ferguson. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. 
15 yards is the pickup there in the drive starting very nicely. First down. As a passer, you're always trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of a defense. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Brandon, we talk all the time about those hybrid players, guys who can do more than one thing. And I think if you're playing strong safety in the NFL today, you are a true hybrid. Part linebacker, part cover guy. And coming up, sticking his nose in the mess there and making a nice play defensively. Throwing on second and eight, Prescott. And Cooks has it over the middle. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Give him 10 there. Good enough for a Cowboy first down. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. All knotted up at seven. First down throw for Prescott. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. Prescott urging his guys to go quickly. They need to get up and set. Second and six. Going to take a shot for Gallup. This throw incomplete, nearly picked off. And with his pedigree, he doesn't drop many of those. But third down coming up. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 34-yard line. A good-looking drive for the Cowboys so far. It's a first down. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. It looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? From the 34 now, here's first and 10. And there'll be a break in the action here because Prescott is going to use the timeout as he'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. First down, Prescott. Pressure comes. He's taken down by the Seahawk defense. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Prescott to throw it. He'll fire this deep for Gallup and unable to connect, incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's gonna bring up fourth down. He certainly had a good game throwing the ball so far, but I think he was trying to take that from good to great with that throw, trying to get one downfield. So now on fourth down, Mike McCarthy will turn to his field goal unit. From the left hash, it's an even 50-yard attempt. 
And I don't think this has the carry. It does not. It's no good. And this game will remain tied here in quarter number two. And now two problems as I see it. First, you missed the kick, which granted was a long one. But second, you set the other guys up a great field position and enough time to maybe get downfield and get a field goal attempt of their own. And the Seahawks offense going to get one final possession in this first half. And with decent starting field position, they're maybe only a couple completions away from field goal range. So good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at the 40. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Smith, an incomplete pass on first down. Now it's second and ten. Now Gino. And he comes back with one complete. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. What I love about watching the passing game nowadays is that the one-dimensional receiver is really starting to leave the game. You've got to be able to do it all. Of course, you've got to run fast. Of course, you've got to catch the ball. But route running savvy and toughness is a premium for all of that now. Forced out to his left. And that will be incomplete. Four ticks left here on the clock. That close on third down, I think everybody probably expecting a run. Instead, they go to the air on third and short yardage. I realize this is a passing league, and they're liable to throw the ball any down and distance. But that short, I do question the call. Run the football and pick it up. The final shot here before break. Smith. He's going to take a shot at the end zone. Why not? And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. So a touchdown apiece. That's what we have to show at halftime as they head to the locker room. 7-7, seven, seven, our score. As we send John over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman in our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everyone, to our brand-new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. First up, though, let's run through the next-gen stats for the Seahawks in that first half. And they've had all sorts of success thus far tonight throwing the football as they're on pace to throw for 300-plus yards if they continue the way they've been going. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven our score. Fields this way up at the 17. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The Cowboy offense set to go to begin this third quarter. Well, the first half, very even. I mean, really, in all facets, this ball game tied, Charles, so as we start the third quarter, curious to see what the second half brings us. Certainly am. I'm with you on that one, and we all know a lot of coaches from the NFL all the way down to the Pee Wee level. They love to spin it to their teams. Hey, we're starting a brand-new, shorter ball game. It's all even. Let's go out and seize it. This is ours. So the drive's going to start with Pollard. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. He had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Here's a second and two now from the 33.
Going to run again here with Pollard. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now Prescott. And the Seahawk defense gets to him, and they bring him down. They bring the safety on the blitz, and he busts through to drop it for an eight-yard loss. Now the number one mission of any offensive line, you got to protect that quarterback, keep him safe back there. This time, the rush got to him in a hurry. And they decided to go with the safety blitz there. And look, if that gets picked up, quarterback really has the advantage then because he'll have more time to throw the football and some wide open space but when it doesn't that's a guy who gets a free run into the backfield and oftentimes the QB ends up on his backside as he did there and that's complete downfield to Cooks touchdown Cowboys Brandon Cooks 72 yards and the Cowboys have moved out in front. I think it's fair to say there's nothing that gets a crowd to its feet quite like a big play, and that was something special there. Boy, was he moving. Well, in this league where coordinators worry so much about drawing up the right routes, blocking assignments, misdirections and stuff, they have these precise arrows and movements. Sometimes the best plays just come from the schoolyard where you look at your fastest guy and say, go long. Go get it, big man. And if you're looking for proof of his speed, next-gen stats shows that he was traveling just over 21 miles an hour there. kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away fields this way up at the 17 and they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30 here comes the Seahawks offensive unit they'll have it first to begin the third and this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point, but it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense, plenty of time to get back in this game. On first down, Smith. That's caught over the middle by Fant. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out by a few inches. That'll be a first down. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. Now a first down throw, it's Smith. And that's incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Smith, an incomplete pass on first down. Now it's second and 10. Throwing now is Geno. He's got his big tight end, Fan. Five yards, now it's third and five. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Again, Smith. And that is incomplete. Boy, oh, he did everything but hold on to it. 
but a nice play defensively, and now brings up fourth down. And we're into the second half now, and this is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know, the rhythm seems off. And here's Dixon to punt now as he gets this one away. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. And we move to spotlighting Brandon Cooks. Good day for him so far here in the third quarter. He's hit pay dirt once, over 100 yards. But, hey, it's the third quarter. He's thinking, I want more, right? He wants more, and it just increases the confidence of his team because every play he makes, that means his quarterback is really feeling good about throwing the football. Probably feels like he can't throw an incomplete pass when he throws it to him right now. Yeah, he's looked really, really sharp. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 15. They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. First play of the drive, let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher, a really nice run. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Here's Prescott. Swinging this out for Pollard. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. Seven yards there at a first down. They certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, They've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. So first and 10 now from the 30. It'll be a handoff to Pollard, and he is going to lose yardage here. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. And that's exactly what offenses try to avoid by using motion and throwing different formations up. They hate when he can draw a bead on the play, get a running start, and make a big play behind the line of scrimmage as he did just there. Here's Pollard again. And the result here, the same as the last play. Another tackle behind the line of scrimmage by the Seahawk defense. That'll wind up as a loss on the play, so now they're staring at a third down and 12. Well, that play was over before it even got started. Thanks for nothing, huh? How about that? That sets up a very difficult third down call now. The last two plays each lose a yard. They'll try to move forward here on third and 12. To throw is Prescott. Be it, and a big loss here as he's taken down. Multiple rushers break through to drop him for the seventh time this game. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. We've seen it demonstrated time and time again to the tune of seven sacks in this game thus far. Here's Brian Anger now, standing about a yard deep in his own end zone. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And a fair catch taken here right at about the 40-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. And the Seahawks get ready to trot out on the field. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. Here's Walker to start the drive. 
And a strong run that time as he's across midfield and down to the 43. 69 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 16 times. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they had three tight ends in on that set. And these guys are punching really well. I use boxing analogies a lot. A lot of coaches have told me that when you line up to run the football, it's 10 fist fights along the line of scrimmage, right? You've got to win your share. These three tight ends, they almost always win their fist fights. Walker now on first and 10. And he is going to lose yardage here. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Throwing is Smith. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now Smith. Throw out wide to Walker. And a good job on the tackle there as they get him down shy of the first on the 35-yard strike. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll be fourth down. Brandon, it certainly looked like they had that play defended well, but it still almost worked. Got it to the running back. He wound up getting really good yardage out of it. But it was third and long, and they were able to rally and stop it before he could get to the marker. So on fourth down, here's Jason Myers for the Seahawk field goal. It'll be spotted on the right hash, a 52-yard attempt. And he's going to miss this one wide to the left from distance. It's no good, and this will stay at a seven-point game. Down here in the third quarter, obviously that's one they could have used. Yeah, one of my favorite special teams coaches in the NFL told me what separates the kickers in the NFL versus the ones who are not is not the misses. It's the second miss in a row. Best kickers in the league, they don't miss two in a row. He's got to get his head back together in case he gets another shot. Good field position to start the drive after the missed field goal. Here's first down from the 42. Here's Prescott. Flush to his right. He's going to let this go deep, back over the middle. And incomplete on the deep ball. But that was actually throwing game 101 right there. You challenge double coverage like that, you're liable to get burned. Fortunate, that was just incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Out of the gun, here's Scott. And this is incomplete. This defense has passed its first two tests by forcing back-to-back -back incompletions. They know there's probably another throw coming on third down. Let's see if they decide to force the issue by sending people on a blitz. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Now Prescott. And he's able to hook up with Michael Gallup. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. With the kind of game he's had so far, you had to know that on third down, that they would be looking his way, and they did, for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep at the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. So here's a first and 10 at the 38.
They'll run left with Pollard. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Prescott from the gun. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. The defense did its job of taking away a quick throw, but that's only half the battle because they've got to get to him before he can make a run for it. A little bit late containing him there, so he makes a nice gain out of a play that looked like it was in trouble. On third down, it's Pollard. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. First down, and it's Pollard again. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. 62 yards rushing for him with a boy game now on 14 carries. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense get a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Scott. And this ball is caught by Lamb. Touchdown, Dallas. A nine-yard touchdown there. And the Cowboys go up by two touchdowns. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is let you feel like you're in control of this game even more so than a two-touchdown lead, right? Because you've taken that time off, as you noted, which means they couldn't get you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to, and you gave your defense some rest. What a big-time drive in that situation. The extra point up and good, and it's now 21-7. kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. This is taken just shy of the 10. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And they've got to be a little bit frustrated about that last drive. Missed field goal. Always hurts a team because, you know, you've put something out there. You've given yourself a chance. You're in range, and the ball doesn't go through the post. But it's not something to panic about, I don't believe. Just keep playing and keep going. Smith on first down. Oh, he tries to get it to Metcalf, but it's intercepted. And the Cowboys are going to take possession of the football. I think this will want to ride very simply because he overestimated his arm strength and his ability to fit it anywhere he wants to. A lot of quarterbacks do that and often pay the price. Now the Cowboys offense heads back onto the field. 
And they'll have good field position here following the interception and a chance to build on their lead as they start with a first and ten. Here's Prescott. And that's complete to Cooks. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. They'll run with Pollard. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. His carries tonight, they're getting up there. So maybe one of those every now and then is understandable. I would agree with that. Understandable every now and then. Sometimes you come back and you fake it to him and go play action. But other times you say, okay, they got him on that one. We'll come back to him in another carry. Looking to throw. Prescott buying time to his left. And he wisely will throw that one away. This is where good coaching and execution come into play because down this close, you absolutely don't want to turn it over. Good job keeping that in mind as he escaped, bought time, and decided throwing it away was his best option. They come up to the line now facing a third and ten after the incompletion. Throwing, Prescott. just get rid of it tight defense there on third down but what a product of good coaching and even better execution because he realized he's in field goal range no sense forcing anything and he made sure he didn't so now on fourth down mike mccarthy will turn to his field goal unit from the left hash, just a 32-yard attempt. And this one is right through. And they will open things up a bit more. It's 24 to 7. So they got the turnover, started with great field position, but in the end, the defense able to hold firm, and they only get three out of it. And I like what you said right there, that defense able to hold firm, backed up into the shadow of their own end zone. Goalpost right behind them. They had to make sure they didn't give up the six. And boy, they came through in a big way. To them, even though they gave up three, that's a win for their side. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. A fairly short kick from the 14. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football. Right now, I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. Now Smith. And his throw is incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield of man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. 
Dallas, Texas is the spot. Third quarter inside AT&T Stadium. Glad you're with us. Second and 10. On second down, it's Walker. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Throwing on third down, Smith setting up the screen here. This is Walker, and this won't do it. He needed six. He only got halfway there. Yeah, and on third down, you know those pass rushers, they're in the starter's block. They're just waiting for the pistol to fire. You can almost hear the defensive coaches on the sideline crease now. Watch the screen, watch the screen. Really good job there of identifying it and making the play to force fourth down. Now here's Michael Dixon as he'll come on to kick for a six time tonight. Yeah, yikes. Terrible kick headed straight for the sidelines. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> <laughs> not one that I've ever met. First down, Prescott. They'll drop this underneath to Pollard. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And it's second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Second and four. Prescott to throw it. This is caught. It's Cooks. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. The run for Pollard. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. And he's brought down at the 19 after a gain of 19. First down in the red zone. He's turning in a pretty impressive performance running the football and a big reason why they have this nice lead. And in days gone by, we would clip this out and put it up on the refrigerator, wouldn't we? Clip out the box score. Nowadays, not too many newspapers out there. Maybe you screenshot it online. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Pollard going to try the right side. Making the stop that time, Bobby Wagner. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. They'll try to throw now. Prescott. And his ball is caught by Lamb. Touchdown, Dallas. Three touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys get another third-quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. 
So another touchdown there, and even though we're still just here in the third quarter, kind of hard now to see them giving up this lead. And this is just an offense that's imposing its will right now. You name it, they're able to do it. If you're the play caller, whatever you want to select is there. You want to run it, you want to throw it, pick a play, any play. They're rocking and rolling right now. The try here for the extra point. And the lead is now 24. A drive that time of six plays. And it's finished off by the touchdown from C.D. Lamb. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Pulls it in at the 13. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. They trail here by 24 points. Got to get going soon, you'd have to think, as they come up first and 10. Smith now to throw. That's into the hands of his tight end, Will Disley. Now this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Arlington. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. Throwing again on second down. Smith. That's complete to DK Metcalf. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. That his first catch so far. They've held him under wraps, but he's got a first down there. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. You know, the key to a good screen pass is, don't you? But you're going to tell me, good blocking? Well, good blocking eventually. But first, it's good acting. You want to let the defenders go past you, leak out to whichever side or even in the middle where you want to set up the screen, and then you do your blocking. How about the read, though, by the defensive guys? They weren't fooled at all and actually ran with the lineman to where the play was and smothered it for a loss of yardage. To the air again, Smith. Looking left side, he's got it complete. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 28. A new set of downs after a strong pickup of 16 yards. Well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth. But a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where his coaches... You're looking for effort and execution, even though the scoreboard is going against you. You want to find out who's going to fight, who's going to scrap, who's going to keep their heads up and continue to play. 11 yards for number 11. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, 
a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But if they trim that lead down to just two scores, that's still a benefit to this squad. So the completion good for six yards, and that'll make it second down. Smith throwing again. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far and brings up third down. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he takes it inside the 10 to the 8 before he's out of bounds. The result, only four yards there on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. And that's going to be a tough one to explain when they get together to watch the game from, isn't it? I mean, they had the right call, had the out route. He's got to know where the first down sticks are, yet he steps out of bounds that close. Not their best play. Desperation time for Smith on fourth down. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. Pete Carroll rolled the dice, but it didn't work out. And the Cowboys' defense is going to get them the football back. So they've gone for it twice now on fourth down in this game, and both times unsuccessful. I wish we could hear the headsets now between the head coach and the offensive coordinator. Now that they're 0 for 2, if they get into a third situation, head coach might say, hey, you got anything for this one? <laughs> might get radio silence back. <laughs> They'll start this drive out on the ground. And some room for him there as he'll take this up to about the 15. 91 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. Good gain there on first down. and keeps him in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking, nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage, stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. They go back to Pollard on second down. And he'll get it up here this time to the 21. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. The carries like that, that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And he'll get about six up to the 27-yard line. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. The last run got six, now second and four. Now a give here to Pollard. And he's got some space here. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And now we're going to get a stoppage. A member of the Cowboys shaken up. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Let's 
A couple of first downs has the football positioned at the 43 as they come up first and 10. Now Pollard. On a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. 16 yards, a little deja vu from the previous play where they got 16. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 41. Now a shotgun handoff to Pollard, and he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be, but still all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. And the last run got three, now here's second and seven. Here's Pollard, and he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. They're bringing us about right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves and start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. Trying to run for it with Pollard. And an excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. It's a gain of 12, and the Cowboys pick up the first. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Prescott now. Touchdown, Cowboys! Jake Ferguson from 17 yards out. And the Cowboys go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. Well, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. It's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ballgame. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but the end of the game right now because he is absolutely on how to attack the defense and take them out of the game. Now the extra point try forthcoming. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it's capped off for the Cowboys touchdown. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This one fielded at the five. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Seahawks offense now, they get set to go back to work. And they've got some stuff to build on from that last drive because they moved the football CD and then they tried to go for it on fourth down, didn't convert, probably left a bitter taste in their mouths. I would say so, and I think that they go out in this series determined for that not to happen again. In fact, they don't even want to get to a fourth down opportunity. They just want to make sure they get it done within the parameters that they've set for themselves. Run their offense, get it into the end zone. Yeah, I think a little bit of determination and a dash of anger. They'll lock it with a grab over the middle. 
And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. Now they may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. Now a first down throw, it's Smith. And that's incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Smith, an incomplete pass on first down. Now it's second and ten. Throwing now is Geno. That ball nearly intercepted. The rookie had his hands on it, but couldn't pull it in. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Throwing again to Smith. Out to the right, he gets it to lock it. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. But with this game well in hand, perhaps we are seeing the coverage lighten up a little bit as they got burned there a bit for a first down. Well, we certainly know the coach isn't happy along the sideline because he certainly wants them to finish this one out the way they started it. He doesn't want to give up any soft completions, no late points. He wants this lead to stay right where it is. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. Well, this game is certainly pretty well over. They can go ahead and mark it in the win column. But as a defense, they don't want to get so soft now that everybody just throws the ball all over the place against them, gets big yardage, and puts points on the board. They have pride, too, on that side of the ball. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now Gino. Walker with a grab, left side. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. Got to give some credit there defensively. They snuffed out that screen early on first down. Really read it well, didn't they? Because they didn't bring the pressure that they expected. They covered all the passing lanes. So once you see it break down as the passer, I think in this situation, you're either throwing it at the feet of your back to make sure no one picks it off, or you throw it away, throw it over the sideline. Don't try and freelance and try and make a bigger play. There's really no one else running a pattern that should be open. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. Just a gain of a couple there. And that'll bring up a third and 11 situation. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back and it could turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short gain. Geno out a throw. Oh, and it's out. He put it on the carpet. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And he'll bring this one back to the 29. And I don't know that that fumble's going to matter a whole lot. You look at the deficit here in the fourth. It doesn't matter. The coach on the sideline still scratching his head. Yeah, not only scratching his head, but probably writing a note or two about, we're going to address this come practice next week because maybe that's the reason we're down this far. Doesn't matter at this point, but being sloppy throughout the game, not going to help him improve. potential turnover they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure and the question was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose and is the video convincing enough to overturn it a lot of factors here remember you also need clear possession of football afterwards this is a tough one to overturn So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble.
Now Gino on first down. And this one caught along the sideline, but they say already out of bounds. And the throw didn't give him a chance to turn it upfield, and that brings up second down. So it looks like they stopped some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. Again, Smith. Throw left side complete. That's Walker. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. I thought that wasn't a bad time to call the screen. I thought late game, down on the scoreboard, had to figure they were expecting a pass downfield. Yeah, so the edge rushers, they're coming. That could have hit big. You're right. Good recognition defensively to snuff that one out. Now this drive, they're two for two on third down conversions, but they need seven yards here. Side, it's complete and able to get him down, but he does reach the five. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. With the score where it is, this was probably going to be four down territory if they didn't convert there. But what a nice job of working his way open, making sure he secured the catch, and setting up first and goal. Now we've got whistles and movement up front. I think this is against Seattle. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Still first down. And the situation changes a bit now. First and goal from back at the 10. From the gun, it's Walker. And he's going to pull his way down to about the one-yard line. A good red zone run there, nine yards. And it'll be second and goal. That's what they wanted out of that first down play. Run it down there. Now they're knocking on the door. The only thing that would have been better was getting it in. And now they can do whatever they want because they've got confidence on their side. Line up quickly and go. Or savor it a little bit. But I run right back at them. Second down and goal. Smith. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Cowboys. And it's a good return here as he'll get all the way up close to the 35. Uh, you've had to put up with me in this booth. I'm going to try and be simple this time and succinct. It simply has not been their night. No, I think that fumble's kind of indicative of how this whole evening's gone, isn't it? Without a doubt. I mean, they've, they've tried, <laughs> but nothing has ever really taken throughout the game. That's why they're down so big. Dallas offense set for this next drive. And they have to be feeling pretty good. Comfortable fourth quarter lead as they take over following the fumble recovery. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at the 33-yard line. So the drive's going to start with Pollard. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. He's having a big game running the football, but that one will hurt the yards per carry a little bit. Yeah, but the average he's got so far, that's the type of average he wants to take with him to contract negotiations, doesn't he? Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They've got a second down now as they look to salt this one away. They go back to Pollard on second down. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. On third down, it's Prescott. Over the middle, complete. It's Ferguson. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way, it worked out. Doesn't matter whether they scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection.
They'll go with Pollard here on first down. They'll get this up to the 47 and brought down there. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up. Found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. This was a very close ball game at halftime, Charles, but in the second half, that offense kind of kicked things into another gear, and they were able to pull away for the victory. And Brandon, I think they're the type of team that just looked in the mirror and said, hey, ton of pressure on, but we're the type of team that can flat out handle it. They stood up, stood up with confidence, and made it happen for a victory.